never thought I'd see him again. There was all sorts of trouble the last time he was here. <laughs> well, I hope he doesn't bring any bad luck with him this time. Good game, guys! Yeah, next time Spike's on our team. <laughs> I do not think so. Oh, no, no, no. Guys! Guys! <laughs> He's coming back! Who's coming back? Where have you guys been? Doc's coming back. Doc? Huh? You mean the lone dinosaur? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Used to climb in the valleys to roam. Oh, seems to follow on our way home. To the land before time. It wasn't that long ago. Everyone thought the Great Valley's good luck had run out because Saurus Rock had been damaged. I tried to bring our luck back by taking a tooth from a dead sharp tooth. The only problem was the sharp tooth wasn't dead. tried to save me. But he had to fight two sharp teeth. That's when Doc showed up. anyone again. Thanks to Grandpa and Doc, the Lone Dinosaur. How exciting! Now I know why everyone's so excited. So where did the Lone Dinosaur go? Where's he been? He never stay in one place very long. And he is always alone. He is, he is. Well, yeah, that's why he's the Lone Dinosaur. But wherever there's trouble with sharp teeth, he'll be there. You said trouble, right? Yep, he always seems to know when sharp teeth are coming here. Uh, you don't think. Don't worry, Chomper. I think he'd understand about you. I don't know. Um. How is Doc supposed to know Chomper's different? I'll tell him. Doc doesn't seem like the kind of long neck who likes to be told. He's after me, isn't he? Of course not. Could be. He'd never pick on a kid. But he'd always pick on a sharp tooth. Whatever's going to happen won't happen until it does. So let's all just get a good night's sleep so we're all well rested. Okay. You're right, Ruby. Good night, everyone. Good, good night, night, everybody. Don't worry, it'll be okay. If Doc's as good as they think, I'm sure he'll think you're good too. Huh? <sighs> Don't worry, it'll be okay. Don't worry, it'll be okay.
He's coming for me! He's coming for me! Oh, who's the he that's coming for you? The lone dinosaur! <gasps> he is? Where is he? He was in my sleep story, and he tried to crush me with his tail! That does sound scary, Chomper. But it was a sleep story, and now you're awake. So, you shouldn't worry. Unless you fall asleep again. Or unless he's really coming after me! <gasps> Hi, everybody. Chomper had a scary sleep story that the lone dinosaur was coming to get him. So did I. Really? Was he trying to crush you with his tail? Um, no. He was trying to crush you. <gasps> huh? He's coming! He's coming for me! <gasps> Could be. No, he's not, Sarah. He only come for sharp teeth in past. See? So what do you want to do? Try to hide Chomper until Doc's gone? That's a great idea! Then that's what we should do. Okay. I'll try to distract Doc while you guys hide Chomper. So Doc's big enough that I'd see him coming, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> he is very, very big. you been? Great! Watch! I've learned to whip my tail just like you! You, uh, might want to work on that a little more. I will! Maybe you can teach me more tricks while you're back! Sure, kid. By the way, have you seen a long neck named Dara around? No. Who's Dara? Uh, she's my lady friend. Huh? Lady friend. Yep. She's the prettiest long neck these tired eyes have ever seen. I remember the first time I saw her. Her big blue eyes sparkled brighter than the big water itself. She understands my need to roam and has been my traveling partner for a while now. A lonely long neck couldn't ask for much more. But how can you have a partner? You're supposed to be out there alone. Well, I was for a long time. Right, and that's why you were able to keep an eye out for any sharp teeth causing trouble. Just the same, kid. You care to help me find Dara? She's a stranger to these here parts. Let's hope she hasn't run into any trouble. <laughs> but Doc, if you're busy spending time with Dara, how are you going to have time to protect all the other leaf eaters? Hmm. She said she'd meet me here. You can't be the lone dinosaur if you're not alone anymore. Still no sign of Dara. Best we keep looking. Doing? Uh, me think they looking for 
or something. He's coming for me. Aha! Uh -huh. I was right all along. will not let Doc hurt you. Oh, no, no, no. Littlefoot's probably too little to stop Doc. Right. That's why we better find a place to hide Jumper. I really don't think she's here. Maybe she decided not to come. Hmm. She said she'd meet me here. So unless there's a problem, that's just what she'll do. He's even bigger than he was in my scary sleep story. And that's why we have to hide you. Now, where would Doc not think to look for a small little sharp tooth? <gasps> of course, the rocks! Quick, everyone gather around Chomper and we'll all move together. Okay, everyone be very quiet. Chomper's life is depending on it. It is! Yes! Shh! Oops. Was that? Uh, minor earth shake? Been through enough of those. Let's keep looking. Okay, what is it? Will we all fit? Oh, good thing me family not home today. Your good idea was really a good idea, Petrie. It was, it was. <laughs> Phew! I can finally calm down. We'll see. This way up high. Doc not find us here. Not find who where. <laughs> you found me. You are supposed to keep Doc away. I know, but you promised. I'm sorry, Chomper, but it's going to be okay. Doc's not looking for you. He's looking for his lady friend, Dara. Right, Doc? <sighs> Doc? I can't believe you're friends with a sharp tooth. What do you mean? I mean, there's no use being friends with him. You're just gonna have to fight him someday. No, I'm not. Chomper's my friend and always will be. Yeah! And I'll never fight my friends. Yeah, of course he wouldn't. Neat trick teaching him to talk. Oh, he learned it all on his own. See? He is different. He is, he is. <gasps> Maybe I can even use my sniffer to help you find your friend. Hmm. <laughs> That'll be the day. What will? The day I ever accept help from a sharp tooth. But I'm telling you, Chomper's different. I ain't never had a good experience with a sharp tooth, and I don't reckon I'll start having one now. 
Let's go, little foot. No. I'm not helping you anymore. Have it your way, kid. You know, I still think I could use my sniffer to help. That would show, Doc. Me want to help? Oh, me too. <laughs> what do you say, little foot? Just because you won't help Doc doesn't mean you shouldn't help Dara. You're right, Ruby. Come on, Chomper. Let's go find Dara. Chomper, you can, you can. Ugh, not with the nose full of mud. <coughs> this swamp is full of sneaky mud spots. I hope Doc's friend is okay. Me too. Then come on, we gotta find her. The smell's stronger this way. <laughs> She's got to be here somewhere. But we've looked everywhere. Oh, no! Look! Ugh. Ugh. Help! Please! Ugh. Little ones, please. You must find my friend Doc to help me get out. Dara! You know me? But how? Ugh. We'll never find Doc in time. We have to get you out of there now. But Dara too big. How we help her? Uh, there. We can use that tree to pull her out. All we have to do is bend it down to her. Great idea. We're coming, Dara. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Tooth. It's true, but I just want to help. Try to grab the tree so we can get you out. A cute, helpful sharp tooth. Why, as I live and breathe. I can't reach her. Everyone, slide forward a little. Why, he risked his little life to save me. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. What for? I was the one who was wrong, kid. You are different. I hope you can find it in you to give an old long neck another chance. Well, sure. Thanks, Doc. So, 
Doc, why were you and Dara coming to the Great Valley? Well, I don't really have any kin of my own, so I wanted Dara to meet Littlefoot and his grandma and grandpa. Which reminds me, where is Littlefoot? Over there. Excuse me. You feel like talking? Sure. I'm sorry I said all those things before. It was disrespectful. It was the right thing to do, kid. Huh? No one's ever really told me when I was wrong before, Littlefoot. Do you promise to keep doing it? Um, sure, Doc. Then we're good. Let's join the rest and I'll show you how to really do that tail whip. You taught me, your friend, the sharp tooth, dear friend. And I 